What's up YouTube, Top for Tech Stops here coming your way and today I'm doing an unboxing video for the Panasonic Lumix FH3. This is one of the entry models for the Lumix cameras. They've got a number of cameras in the series including the TF2 Tough uh, camera which you can see my review of just by clicking below this video there's a link. This is the FH3, retails for $299 in Australia and a little less in the US. Comes with a 14.1 megapixel camera, has the Leica lens with a 5x zoom, 270 dot LCD screen at the back and so forth. It is an entry level so it doesn't have the GPF, uh, GPS features like some of the other Lumix cameras and a couple of the high end features. But it seems on the face of it like a pretty good all round stylish sleek camera. Hopefully the image quality is there. I'll test that out in the review and I'll let you guys know in the upcoming video. But this is the unboxing video, so let's get into this it. This is the FH3 box, one of the Lumix entry level models. Now before I start, just to let you guys know, this one is a review copy from Panasonic. So it has seen a number of reviewers and hence has had a little bit of wear and tear around the box. So don't be alarmed when you guys pick yourselves one of these up from the retail stores. It will come nice and clean and crisp. And, uh, and won't look like this. Another thing to note is the contents in here are what you'll receive in the box when you purchase one, but they might look uh, a little, it might be a little bit messy and all over the place compared to the nice and clean image when you open it up when you get it uh, when you purchase one. So if you purchase it, it will have a similar picture. This is the TZ10, but it'll have a picture on the front of the, uh, of the camera itself. So. We open that up. First thing you see is you have the instruction manual, warranty card, and the different uh, drivers and softwares on a CD, and that's uh, Mac and Windows compatible. We'll put that aside. Camera's looking right at you. Like I did say, this will be a bit messy, but what you get in the box will be a nice clean, uh, nice clean box. Got the camera there. You got the USB and AV cables. Battery's already actually in there, I'll show you guys in a moment. Then you've got the charger and the wall adapter to the charger. And that's about it. Also comes with the wrist strap, which on this one it is attached. Move that aside. That's the charger there. Fairly typical Lumix charger, you won't have that number obviously. One thing to note is Panasonic do change their chargers quite often from model to model and this is the battery right there it's a nice size it's quite light but uh, Lumix batteries tend to pack a bit of a punch so getting into the camera if I just run you through this if we start right at the top you see this nice brushed aluminium surrounding all the way around the camera not at the, on the bottom but all the way around the sides and the top looks really neat it looks really smart the actual camera, most of it is made out of plastic. It does have some brushed aluminium or brushed metal. That there is also plastic, just made look like metal, but it's made out of uh, black plastic, also comes with silver, and then it's got this brushed metal sort of look up the top, which is really nice. So if we start at the top, you've got the model number there. You've got a speaker, external speaker, for when you're viewing your videos on the uh, LCD screen, and you've got a microphone. Unlike the TZ10, the FH3, being an entry-level model, doesn't come with surround sound microphone, just has the mono. Got the on-off switch there. You've got the back and forth zoom buttons right there. Shutter button in the middle. It actually holds quite well in the hand. And you've got the IA auto intelligence button here. Unlike, again, the TZ10 or the TZ11, it doesn't have a function wheel up the top. If I, show, if I show you what I mean, that's the TZ10 up there. You can see it's a little bit bulkier, has longer zoom on the lens also, so it's a bit bulkier in that sense, but it does have that button or the zoom, or rather, sorry, the scene selector up the top. On the FH3, you do that electronically, and that's where the auto intelligence button is right there sorry about the focus there guys can't focus it manually if we go on the right hand side that's obviously where your wrist strap connects flip this little flap up there that's your USB or mini USB port you use that to hook it up to your computer close that back up that feels quite solid when it closes it's on a spring spring loaded underneath that won't obviously be there that's due to the demo unit 
This is where you hook up your camera to a tripod or a monopod if you need to. It's good to see that it's got a metal ring because quite often entry level models have a plastic ring and they can be quite weak so it's good to see Panasonic went with the metal ring. This is where the battery and SD card go so you do have the battery like I did say earlier. So pull that one out and your SD card goes right there. Got a little clip for the battery, push that in, clicks in, close that up and pull it across. On the other left hand side it's just got the brushed aluminium, there's nothing to report there. On the back you've got the two and a half inch LCD screen. Got the mode button up here, you've got different menu buttons, a display and a quick menu button. On the right hand side you have the fire or action button up there, record button, and then you've got the play button down the bottom so if you want to view what you shot you push that down to play, and you're good to go. And that's about it. So that's the Panasonic FH3 Lumix camera. Like I did say, has five times zoom, has the Leica lens, which is a, a quality lens that Panasonic includes in most or all of their Lumix cameras now. 28 millimeter ultra wide angle, and it's a really good entry level camera with a 14 megapixel sensor. I'll test this one out and let you guys know what the functionality is like how it performs, what the image quality is like, show you some sample images and post that video up in about a week's time. When I have posted it, I'll, uh, just, just below this video I'll include a link so don't forget to check that out. And don't forget to tell me what you guys think of these Lumix cameras, whether you hate them, whether you love them, whether you used them a long time or whether you haven't used them. Let me know by posting below and if you enjoy this video just give me the thumbs up below this video and let me know you like it and uh, there's a little like me button or like it button down there. Let me know. But this is the Lumix FH3. Don't forget to uh, subscribe to my channel if you enjoy it also. I'll post a review, like I said, in about a week's time. It's Tom from Tech Stops here. I'll catch you guys next time.